All right, guys, so last thing we're going to do, instead of the demonstration, because who wants to get gel in their hair, we're just going to talk about what happens when we record EEG activity from someone with their eyes closed. And we'll make this a little bit of a game, and then I'll pause like 10 or 15 seconds to let you think of the answer. So, I want you to imagine we have someone all ready to record their EEG, they're all gelled up, and actually this is something we do in our lab often, is we'll want to make sure that we're getting a reliable signal from the brain, that we're not getting some, you know, random noise. So what we'll have the participant do is we'll have them close their eyes while we record their EEG. Now, the occipital cortex is in the back of the head, and that is where visual cortex is, where we process visual information. Which frequency band do you think becomes really big over occipital cortex when we close our eyes? Imagine some Jeopardy type music now. Alright, and the final answer is what is alpha, okay? Remember, alpha activity is associated with suppressing information. If our eyes are closed, our visual cortex is not getting information. And so we see a lot of alpha activity. And we'll do that a lot of times, the first thing we do when we start recording EEG, to make sure that we're actually recording a reliable signal from the brain. And that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the EEG lab lecture.